Welcome back to another episode of Open RCT2 Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build your very own Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Now, this is a roller coaster that was developed by Vacoma, and it was for the Disney parks. There are only two in existence, one at Walt Disney World and the other, I believe, in Shanghai Disney. And what's unique about the coaster is that the ride vehicles can swing freely back and forth, sort of like a suspended swinging coaster, but the track is below. Here you can see the concept vehicle, and you can see that center pillar at the front with the black dot at the top. That is the axis point where the ride vehicle will swing from. And here in this image, you can see the front vehicle. You can see how much the riders are swinging out compared to the carriage below. And here is uh, another image where, again, that front vehicle is the best indication of how much these vehicles can swing out compared to the track. So it's a unique experience, and it's really fun to just kind of add a family coaster to your park that's not difficult to build, and it's just a nice gentle swinging motion that you're trying to add for your guests to enjoy. Nothing too crazy with like high speed turns or anything like that. We just want to have a nice ride that all ages can enjoy. Now the real coasters actually feature a show scene in the middle where the trains slow down significantly so riders can enjoy a little scene. So you could add that if you'd like. But to start, I like to use the looping coaster, although you can use whatever track you want. But we want to build a station that is six tiles long. That will fit the complete train. So we have a six tile long station. And then I'm going to just make up a layout here with the larger turns and some nice swooping S-bends like this. And again, we just want to make it nice and gentle for this pre-lift section. And then you don't want anything too tall, you know, 35, 40 feet is all you really need. Now if you want to see the trains in action while you're building, we can turn on the ghost trains, but first we need to change the ride vehicles. So we have to turn on the cheats. So if you go down here to the bottom, we can turn on show vehicles from other track types, disable vehicle limits, and then actually allow arbitrary ride type changes, we'll use that one later. And now we can change the ride vehicles to the six seater bobsleds. So we just wanna have one train and we're gonna have four vehicles per train. And that will allow us to now see how the swinging motion looks with the ghost train. So you can click here and we can watch and see, you know, make sure it's a gentle family coaster, nothing too fast. And that looks really nice for our pre-lift section, just some gentle swinging there. So I really like the look of that. And then now I'm just going to quickly continue building this ride. Now the real life rides have two lift hills and that show section in the middle. But for this example, I'm just going to do a shorter layout. So nothing too crazy, but this looks pretty nice. We have a small airtime hill and we'll just kind of do some S bends into a nice long brake run, add some block sections and a few brakes there and a block section here. And that looks really nice and add your entrance and exit. And we have our layout. So that's simple enough. And now the hard part is adding the vehicles. Now I'm going to change it to two train operation since we have the block brakes and test it now. And the easiest way to operate the ride is just to leave it with the bobsled trains like this. You could even add a fifth car just like the real ride. As long as there's no high speed turns that would cause the trains to crash, you can just operate the coaster like this. But I'm not satisfied with how that looks. It looks like the flying shoe coaster. <laughs> so instead, I'm going to change the ride vehicles to the flying coaster trains, and this will make sense in a little bit. So for a four car train, basically I need to take the number of cars I want, which is four, multiply it by two, and add one. So four times two is eight, plus one is nine. So I need a nine car train for a four car train, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna test the ride and close it to spawn the vehicles, and then open the Edit Ride Vehicles plugin. If you don't have this plugin, the link is in the video description below, so you can download it. But I'm gonna hit this eyedropper button here, and then click on the vehicle to select the train. And here we can see we're on train one, vehicle one. So what we're gonna do now is change the visuals to the hyper twister train, just the normal one, not the wide one. So here you can see the hyper twister train car for vehicle one, but we're gonna change the variant to variant one, and it's that front lead vehicle. And now I'm gonna go down here, and we want to set this to all vehicles on all trains. And I don't know why I must have been using this already, so uncheck all of those boxes. And then hit apply, and so now all of the vehicles on all the trains turned into that variant one. Now we're going to go to vehicle two and change the visual to the bobsled, the six-seater bobsled. And now what we want to do once that's there is hit this copy button right here. So hit copy 
actually it looks like I already had it selected so I'm going to hit it again copy and then I'm going to move down to the drop down menu at the bottom again and select the last item which is same vehicle number on all trains and then hit apply so this will make vehicle 2 on both of the trains show up as a bobsled so now we're going to go to vehicle 4 and do the same thing we're going to hit this paste button here and then go down and hit apply so that will make vehicle 4 on both trains show up as a bobsled and now I'm going to quickly do this for vehicle 6 we're going to hit paste and then hit apply and then vehicle 8 so all of the even numbers hit paste and then apply so now we have our fully finished train now we can close the plugin and test the ride and I think that looks much nicer we have those hyper twister trains as the vehicles that look like they're supporting the bobsled trains that are swinging between them so I kind of like that look a little bit nicer than just having the bobsled trains on their own but it's really up to you so I think that looks really fun and it's something different that the game doesn't really have so unless someone has custom vehicles this is the best way you can go about having those swinging cars and I think that looks really neat but there is one little issue that sometimes it might not bother you, but every once in a while I'll see a little bit of glitching with the bobsled trains glitching through the hyper twister trains. Doesn't happen very often, uh, only in a few weird instances like here. You can see right here, you're gonna see that black piece is uh, glitching over the bobsled train. So just really minor, but uh, every once in a while you see kind of that glitch like so. So it's not really a big deal, but if you don't like the glitching, there is another option. So we can open up that Edit Ride Vehicles plugin and instead of the Hyper Twister trains, we can actually change the visual to the Corkscrew Coaster train. Now we're going to change the variant to the number two variant, which is just the wheel carriers of the Corkscrew train. So you can see that here in the little window. So we're just going to go to same vehicles on all train types, hit apply, hit that copy button and do all of the odd vehicles. So number three, we're going to hit apply and then number five we're going to hit paste and then apply actually i forgot a number three to hit paste and then apply all right so now let's go to number seven paste and then hit apply and then number nine we're going to paste and hit apply so now this is a different look so it isn't quite as imposing as the hyper twister train so the corkscrew wheels are a little bit less imposing uh, a little bit softer on the eyes so that is another option that you can use and i think that looks just as well as the other version actually almost better really depends what you're going for and then you can change the colors to brown to make them look more like barrels like the real ride and if you want you can change it to different colors per vehicle if you want the hyper twister trains to have a different color than the barrels so i'll do that really quickly here just all of the odd cars have a lighter color so there we go and now what we see here is I have two different trains. So the one on the left is using the corkscrew wheels and this one here on the right is using the hyper twister trains uh, between the bobsleds. So you can see the two different options that I've came up with to make this ride. Uh, so let's look at the stats now. Uh, and so here it's getting pretty low stats with the looping roller coaster. So what we can do is change the track type to something else. So let's try the corkscrew coaster. And let's look, uh, the stats aren't very good for this specific layout, so it really depends on your layout. So let's change it to the LIM launch coaster. So that changes the brake run, uh, how it's drawn. It looks a little bit nicer actually, and it's not gonna have a lift chain sound on the LIM coaster, but the stats are much better. Medium, excitement, high intensity. So still a family coaster, uh, but we could try something else. Let's try the classic mini coaster. And that one's going to give us um, a little bit gentler stats. Uh, so if you like the look of that track, you can use the classic mini coaster instead. Or you could change it to something like the, let's try the uh, mini roller coaster. Uh, and let's see the stats there. Uh, so those stats aren't very good. So you can just play around with this depending on the look. And then if you really want to go full mine train, we could do the mine train coaster. And that is actually going to give us some decent stats here uh, as well. And if you want that kind of look of a more rustic mine ride. So there's a lot you can do with this ride depending on the options that you want to choose for how it looks. And here's another example with the corkscrew coaster track, which does get better stats on this different coaster design that I've made. It's a little bit longer. 
but if you want to edit the stats manually, you can actually let's select the ride here and hit edit ride up here in the top right, and then hit freeze rating calculations, and then the multiplier down here at the bottom, you can change it to 100, and then you can manually edit the rating of the coaster if you want. So give it a higher excitement, a lower intensity, or whatever you want, and see as long as it has that freeze rating calculation, it's going to change it. And here you can see in real time as I'm changing the excitement rating. So that's just another option if you don't mind a little bit of cheating, uh, but make sure that freeze rating calculation is turned on. And that is all there is to it to build a Seven Dwarfs Mine Train coaster. Here is my original prototype, so let's take it for a ride. It's just a nice, gentle family coaster. I think it looks uh, really good with the scenery and everything if you want to kind of have that mountain mine theme. But overall, I hope this wasn't too difficult of a tutorial. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. And if you have any ideas of what tutorials you'd like to see next, let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. It really helps help the channel. And also consider becoming a YouTube or Patreon member where you will receive early access to all of my latest videos and other benefits. And also check the links in the video description for some RCT2 merch. There's a Redbubble and also a fourth wall links for these two different shops with RCT2 merch if you want to check that out. And as always, make sure to subscribe because next time I'm gonna show you how to build your very own Gravitron ride. So stay tuned for more.